Nice to meet you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dong Ping from Seoul National University of South Korea. It's a pleasure to announce my research here. My thesis is learning impact of badminton stroke in accordance with attention focus. The purpose of the study was to observe the effect of the order of attention focus feedback on the motor learning in the striking task, which is a complex motor skills. Internal focus is to focus on the performer's body movement, and external focus is to focus on the environment in which movement occurs. Hypotheses were that differences in result of motor performance and coordination structure of upper limb will appear among test sessions or groups. Participants are consist of young adult male who have no trouble performing their tests. This study was approved by Seoul National University Research Ethic Committee. And according to the GPAR analysis, the minimum number of the participants per group was 12, and the above number of participants were recruited. As participants were beginners, we chose the basic high clear shot, which is overhead shot, striking shuttlecock high and far. We progressed pre-test at week 1 and practice 1 and week 2 and 3, retention test 1 at week 4, practice 2 at week 5 and 6, and retention test 2 at week 7. One block consists of 15 continuous striking. In practice session, total 16 blocks of high clear shot was progressed. IE group received internal focus feedback at practice one and external focus feedback at practice two. EI group received the reverse order of the feedbacks. Mixed group received an internal and external attention focus feedback crossover in each block. Internal focus feedback was to focus on stretching their elbows at impact and external focus feedback was to focus on the trajectories to be drawn fine, high and far. Feedbacks were verbal and provided once per three times of shots. In each test sessions, we attached four inertial measurement units on the participants back of the hand, forearm, upper arm, and thoracic vertebrae to measure the joint kinematics. The middle point of service end line was the target and participants had to stroke the 15 times of continuous shuttlecock from touching machine. Accuracy and consistency are calculated as mean radial error and vibrate variable error. And the coordination structure of upper limb were calculated using the relative phase of wrist elbow joint. If the relative phase is close to zero degree, it can be said that the wrist elbow joint moves in phase but if it is close to 180 degrees, the wrist elbow joints moves antiphase. In addition, if relative phase is positive, wrist joint may precede the movement of elbow joint in phase space. And if it is negative, elbow joint may precede the movement. Figure A is the accuracy calculated with mean radial error. Accuracy of IE and EI groups significantly improved in retention test 1 and 2 than that of pretest. Accuracy of the IE group was significantly improved than that of the mixed group in the retention test. Figure B is the consistency calculated with vibrate variable error. Consistency of IE and EI group significantly improved in the retention test too than that of the pretest. Consistency of IE group was significantly improved than that of the mixed group in the retention test too. Next figure shows the change of coordination structure of upper limb. Figure A shows the absolute relative phase on impact. Absolute relative phase of IE significant, significantly decreased in the retention test 2 than that of the pretest. Absolute relative phase of the IE group was significantly lower than that of the EI group in the retention test 1. And this value was closer to the expert's absolute relative phase. Figure B shows the positive ratio of relative phase on impact. The positive rate rates of IE group was significantly lower than that of the mixed group in the retention test. The value was the close set to the expert's rates. Left figure can be interpreted that as the expert's absolute relative phase was 12.8, the movement of upper limb shows in phase tendency. And IE group changed their coordination pattern like experts in retention test 1. The right figure can be interpreted that the expert's sign of relative phase was almost 9% negative which means elbow joint moves ahead than wrist joint in face space. Likewise, IE group changed their coordination pattern like experts in retention test 2. To sum up, in the accuracy and consistency, internal and external feedback benefits more than 
external internal feedback or mixed ones. In the coordination structure on upper limb, internal feedback benefits more in the case that the upper limb movements change to an in-phase tendency like experts. And internal external feedback benefits more in the case that the elbow joint moves ahead than wrist joint in phase space. According to the result of present study, it seems that improvements in motor performance can appear differently according to the order of the attentional focus feedback. Collectively, the findings show that the internal external attentional focus could improve the results of motor performance and in phase pattern of upper limb better in striking task. And in our internal focus feedback, could improve the movement order of upper limb in face space while striking task. We should progress more specific experiments about whether internal attentional focus feedback could improve coordination structure of upper limb better than two feedbacks in different order. Thank you for your attention.